Joanna, thanks for joining us. So what originally made you interested in Tony Obed's story? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, back in the day, in 2016, I was living in Toronto, and uh, together with all, together with many Canadians, I was watching uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, Mr. Justin Trudeau coming back, uh, coming to Bruce Bay to offer uh, his apology, um, to reconcile with the survivors of the residential uh, schools in Canada, the Labrador and Newfoundland especially. And I thought it's an amazing story that's not uh, widely known uh, in my country and in Europe. So I thought that as a journalist, I should do everything to study it and to, and to uh, be diligent and to cover it for, uh, for European readers. It really was uh, an emotional day and uh, watching Tony there was really something that day. How did the two of you uh, collaborate? Well, actually, it was very difficult to, to reach Toby at the first, um, at the beginning, but I reached out to your uh, to your station, and uh, I must say thank you to Justin Bray, uh, put me in contact with Stephen Cooper, uh, who we all as lawyer. So it all started with ATN with uh, Justin Bray. And also, I have also reached out to Amaguk Inn in Hopedale. Uh, I wanted to get in touch with Toby himself. Um, and finally, Toby responded and we spent a couple of hours talking. And so what's been the what's been the reaction in Poland to the book? Well, it's uh, it's overwhelming because uh, although um, Toby is leading character, but also many other Canadians, many other survivors are depicted in the book. The book tells their story. Um, it's a Canadian story, but it's also a very universal one. So it resonates really greatly. Uh, it resonates great in Poland too, because it's a story about a crime without punishment. Of course, there'll be many people over here interested in the story. Will it be uh, available in English? Yes, we hope so. The book has been maybe seven weeks now in Poland. So our very next step is to get a proper translation and uh, get published in English, uh, especially for the Canadian markets. Well, we look forward to it. And uh, Joanna, I appreciate you taking some time for us. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much.